Getting set for evening baseball from the Big A, Angel Stadium of Anaheim. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Minnesota Twins and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. It's Angels baseball, and it starts right now. Play ball. Now in the box, number 78. He was hitless in yesterday's shutout loss, as were many of his teammates. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. Off the rocks and gone. So a solo shot here to left center field. Number 31 for him on the season as the Twins take a 1-0 lead. That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake, and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. Leading off the inning, Kevin Ramirez, and, and they'll need him to get Angels, something going here. The second baseman, Kevin Ramirez. 3-2 pitch. This is pulled into right. Number 78 is there, and he'll bring this one in. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Ready now for L.A. Dante now Lynn. Back. He drew a walk right his shooter. first time up. Dante. The 2-1 home. Lynn. Swinging a blooper to the right side. Here comes the right fielder. In there, a base hit. He's around four, second four, four. now as they're still searching for it out there. Lynn takes the turn at third. He wants it all. <laughs> Safe at the play. We're all square and one apiece. Boy, the home fans are loving that inside the park. Into the box now, number 78. Batting from the right, the right side field. with the southpaw number on the mound. First pitch on its way. Fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and there it goes. He got all of that ball. Gone to lead off the inning. So a solo shot here to left center field, his second home run of the game, and the Twins move out on top 2-1. to one. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup, so a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Leading off the inning, Jason Bake, as they'll look up, to get something Angels, going here and even this game the up. First baseman, Jason Bake. Launch to right field and deep. Racing back the right fielder to the track. It's on the hand. Solo shot here to straightaway right field. Fourth home run for him on the season as the Angels have come back to tie things at two. Guys, we've seen four big balls between the two teams so far today. What are your impressions of the long ball display we're watching? Matty V, this is just one of those days. Number 78 will stand in looking for home run number, number three as number we take seven, it back yeah. to inning number four. And this was his second home run of the game as he's been dialed in so far in this one. Oh. 
Here's the first pitch to him. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. Oh man, he just tied him up in knots right there. Hit hard on the ground towards second. There's one. On to first, and they get the double play. At the plate, Kevin Ramirez. He got on now top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ramirez. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Luther has got it, and the side is retired. So it's one run on one hit, no errors, and no one left. Eighth inning coming up. The Twins are in front, four to three. Coming to the plate now, now number 78. Number he comes in two for three with a couple of home runs thus far on his line. Now a throw over to first, and he'll dive back in. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. This is a tough guy right here to hit into a double play. He's fast and he swings from the left side. So out of the box he's going to get a good break. You might have to try to get the strikeout right here because very rarely are you going to get this guy to ground into a double play. Curve ball bounces and that gets by to the backstop. And that'll hurt as the runner will move into scoring position now. 4-3 our score here as we play the eighth. You're going, you're going. Line drive, that's a base hit into the right center field gap. He's in at second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there to not only get a ribby knock, but to give your team a little bit of breathing. It, it does, and it makes your pitcher go out there with a little bit more free and easy frame of mind instead of going in a 1-1 one -one game where every pitch is so important. You're one pitch away from a solo tying the game up. That's not the case now. Now the 2-1 pitch. It's a fastball taken high for a ball. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, D. Rowe, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Settling in now, DJ Jenkins. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield, but he's going to wave them. Bate camps under it, and he's got it for route number two. Standing in, Dustin Russell. The catcher, number 13. Dustin. Russell. He's set. Here's the 2 2. All right, you're here, you're here, you're here. But picked up on a hop. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Twins get a run on two hits. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Minnesota leads this one 5 to 3. Some more good work out of the bullpen as he notches his 10th save of the season right there. Nice job. And this evening's contest comes to a close. 5-3 the final. The Twins used a nice fifth inning to take the lead and they never gave it back. Jay Hernandez earns win number four on the season. Robbie Nash closes the door for the save his 10th. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.